ever get lost in a book, it's a magical experience, isn't it? You open the first page and suddenly you're transported to another world. The worries of your day fade away as you dive deeper into the story. You're hooked from the first line. That initial sentence grabs you, pulls you in and makes you want to know more. It's like a spell that the author casts, ensuring you can't put the book down. That's the power of a good introduction. It sets the tone, creates intrigue and promises an adventure. Whether it's a novel, an article or even a speech, the beginning is crucial. It's not just about starting, it's about grabbing the reader's attention and making them want to stay. Think of it as the first impression. You only get one chance to make it count. Think of it as inviting someone into your world. You want them to feel welcomed, intrigued and eager to explore more. A strong introduction is like a warm handshake or a friendly smile. But what about the intros for each section? Are they important too? You bet! Each section is a new opportunity to re-engage your reader, to pull them back in if their attention has wandered. Each section is like a new chapter in the story. It needs its own mini introduction to set the stage for what's to come. This keeps the narrative flowing smoothly and keeps the reader invested. You need to guide your reader smoothly from one idea to the next. Think of it as a journey, where each section is a stop along the way. A good intro helps them transition seamlessly. A strong section intro can bridge the gap, keeping them engaged and eager to see what's next. It acts as a signpost, letting them know they're on the right path and encouraging them to keep going. So how do you write a captivating section intro? It starts with understanding your audience and what they care about. What questions are they asking? What problems are they trying to solve? Start with a question related to the topic. This immediately engages the reader's mind, making them think and want to find out more. It's a simple yet powerful technique. This piques the reader's curiosity and encourages them to keep reading for the answer. It's like a puzzle they need to solve. And the only way to do that is by continuing to read. For example, if you're writing about baking a cake, you might ask, ever wonder why cakes sometimes sink in the middle? Intrigued, right? This question sets the stage for the information you're about to provide. Now, before you move on to explaining the science of cake baking, answer the question you posed. This builds trust with your reader, showing them that you have the answers they're looking for. Provide the reader with the information they crave. This not only satisfies their curiosity, but also reinforces their decision to keep reading. They feel rewarded for their time and attention. This keeps them satisfied and engaged, ready to dive into the next section. Don't leave them hanging. Always deliver on the promise you made in your introduction. What are some of your favorite opening lines from books or articles? Think about the ones that really grabbed you and made you want to read more. What made them so effective? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think makes a great introduction. Your insights could help others craft their own captivating intros. We all love a good story. Stories captivate us, draw us in, and make us feel connected to the narrative. Whether it's a novel, a movie, or an article, a well-told story can leave a lasting impression. And a well-written article is just that, a story broken down into digestible sections. Each section serves a purpose, guiding the reader through the content in a structured and engaging manner. Each section intro is like a mini introduction, setting the stage for what's to come. It provides a sneak peek into the content, preparing the reader for the information that follows. Think of each section as a building block. Just as you wouldn't build a house without a solid foundation, you wouldn't write an article without well-crafted section intros. You wouldn't just stack blocks randomly, would you? Each block needs to be placed with intention and care to create a stable and impressive structure. You'd carefully arrange them to create something amazing. The same principle applies to writing. Thoughtful section intros can transform your article from a collection of ideas into a cohesive and compelling narrative. Section intros are the mortar that holds these blocks together, ensuring that each part of your article flows seamlessly into the next. Creating a smooth flow from one idea to the next is crucial. It keeps the reader engaged and makes the content easier to follow. But how do you make these intros shine? How do you ensure they grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading? It's all about crafting effective questions that resonate with your reader. Questions that pique their curiosity and make them eager to find out more. Don't just ask any question. Make it relevant to the topic and thought-provoking. A well-placed question can be the hook that draws your reader in. Make it relevant to the topic and thought-provoking. This not only engages the reader, but also sets the tone for the section. 
For instance, if you're discussing the benefits of meditation, you could ask, feeling stressed and overwhelmed? There's a simple solution. This immediately addresses a common problem and hints at a beneficial answer. Now remember to answer the question you posed. It's important to follow through and provide the information your reader is looking for. Don't leave your reader guessing. Unanswered questions can lead to frustration and disengagement. Provide them with the information they need to understand the context of the upcoming section. This builds trust and keeps them invested in your content. This establishes trust and keeps them engrossed in your writing. When readers feel that their questions are being answered, they are more likely to stay engaged and continue reading. What are some questions that instantly grab your attention when reading? Think about the articles or books that have captivated you. What made their section intros stand out? Share your examples in the comments below. Your insights could help others craft their own compelling section intros. Have you ever noticed how a well-placed question can completely change the flow of a conversation? It can turn a mundane exchange into a thought-provoking dialogue, sparking new ideas and perspectives. The same goes for writing. Just as in conversation, the questions you pose in your writing can guide your readers' thoughts and keep them engaged. Questions are powerful tools that can engage your reader and make them feel like they're part of a dialogue. They invite the reader to think, to ponder, and to explore the topic with you. Asking the right questions is an art form. It requires a deep understanding of your audience and the subject matter. It's about knowing what will pique their interest and what will make them want to know more. You want to spark curiosity without being too obvious or leading the reader in a particular direction. The best questions are those that open up possibilities and encourage exploration. The key is to strike a balance between intrigue and relevance. Your questions should be thought-provoking but also directly related to the topic at hand. This balance keeps the reader engaged and invested in what you're saying. For example, let's say you're writing about the importance of sleep. Instead of simply stating facts, you can draw your reader in with a compelling question. Instead of stating the obvious, sleep is crucial for our health, try something like, did you know that a good night's sleep can do wonders for your mood, energy levels, and even your waistline? See the difference? The question invites curiosity and makes the reader want to learn more. Once you've posed your question, remember to answer it. This is crucial because it shows that you respect your reader's curiosity and are prepared to provide valuable information. Provide your reader with the information they're looking for. This not only satisfies their curiosity, but also helps to build trust and credibility. This not only satisfies their curiosity, but also establishes you as a credible source of information. When readers feel that their questions are being answered, they are more likely to return to your work and recommend it to others. What are some of your favorite ways to incorporate questions into your writing? Do you have a particular strategy or technique that works well for you? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Engaging with other writers and readers can provide new insights and ideas, helping you to refine your own approach to asking the right questions. Section 4. Engagement Boosters Calls to Action and Surveys We've talked about grabbing attention and holding it with compelling questions. But how do you keep readers invested beyond just reading? That's where calls to action and surveys come in. Remember, reading shouldn't be a passive activity. Encourage your audience to interact with your content. A well-placed call to action can be as simple as asking for comments or inviting readers to share their thoughts on the topic. Surveys are another fantastic way to boost engagement and gain valuable insights from your audience. They allow you to gather specific information about your reader's preferences, opinions, and experiences. This can help you tailor your content to their needs and interests. For instance, you could ask your readers, what are your biggest writing challenges? Provide a few options in a survey format and encourage them to participate. This not only keeps them engaged, but also provides you with valuable data. Would you be interested in participating in a quick survey about your reading habits and preferences? Let me know in the comments below. Section 5. From Page to Action Keep the conversation going. You've crafted an engaging piece. You've asked thought-provoking questions. Now what? 
Don't let the conversation end there. The beauty of writing is that it can spark dialogue and connection. Encourage your readers to go beyond simply consuming your content. Invite them to participate in a larger conversation. One effective way to do this is by ending each section with a call to action. Ask them to share their experiences, opinions, or even counter arguments. This fosters a sense of community and encourages further exploration of the topic. For example, you could end a section by saying, what are your thoughts on this approach? Share your experiences in the comments below. This simple prompt can lead to lively discussions and valuable insights. Remember, writing is not a one-way street. Embrace the interactive nature of the digital age and encourage your readers to become active